Hey guys, Anton the Tech Chap, and I'm with Philips Hue at CES 2020, uh, standing far too close to this TV, but I'm here to show off this little guy. It's the Philips Hue Play HDMI sync box. You may remember that I made a video about this a few months ago when they first unveiled it in uh, Berlin at the EFA Tech Show, but I'm back here in Las Vegas uh, because they've made a few updates, including voice support from Alexa, the Google Assistant, and Siri, as well as support for infrared remote, so you can actually control the lighting with your remote control for your TV. But as well as that, I got loads of questions at the end of my last video, sort of asking about HDMI pass-through, how does HDR work, can I use this with a soundbar, and also like, what's the best setup for this system, so that's what I'm here to show you. So as you can see from the lights on my face, they're actually reacting to what's on screen relative to their location in the room, which I set up through an entertainment area in the app. And it all works because of this little guy, the Philips Uplay HDMI sync box. So in this setup, we've got the uh, Xbox One S, we've got an Apple TV, all plugged in to the box at the back via HDMI, and then we've got one output to the TV, and that output then decodes the lighting uh, from what's on the TV, and then does some fancy technical wizardry so that the lights that you've placed around your room then know what's happening around the screen. So if you've got green areas at the top left, then the lights on the left or the top will be green. Now, if you already have Philips Hue lights, then you're probably familiar with the Hue app where you can adjust the lighting, the brightness, create uh, entertainment areas, all that good stuff, turn things on and off. This is so much fun just to play around with the different modes. But for the sync box, the first thing you need to do is make an entertainment area. I've already got one set up here, and you can see I've got the lights around the room, and I've adjusted this so that they're relative to the sofa and the TV. I've got a couple of sign lights. I've got these uh, LED strips. I've got this little lamp at the back here. And actually, with the latest update to the app, you can adjust where the light is in the room. So you can do TV height, ceiling height, ground height. So you get a much more sort of three-dimensional uh, lighting space around you. So once you've created your entertainment area, you then jump to the new Hue Sync app. And from here, you can adjust all the sync box settings. So whether you're playing a game, listening to music, watching video, and whether you want something like a bit of a rave in your house, go for extreme intensity, or you're just having a quiet movie night and you want a slightly more subtle uh, change to the lighting. And then we've also got the brightness. So you can really customize it to how you want. And down here, you can see we've got the Apple TV syncing at the moment. And if I just tap that, we can then switch it to the Xbox or any of the four HDMI inputs. So since my last video, a software update has added voice and also the infrared support on the remote. Uh, so now you can do things like, okay, Google, turn on sync box. Sure, turning the sync box on. You can also change between what the input is. It'll do it automatically uh, when you change the input on the TV, but you could do things like, hey, Google, change sync box to Xbox. Okay, switching input to Xbox on the sync box. It's pretty cool, and you can actually customize uh, the name of the input you're using. So that could be the Apple TV, it could be your Sky TV box, uh, or the Xbox or PlayStation. So the other big update is the fact that I can now use the TV remote to actually control the light syncing with the TV. So I've programmed this, uh, the red button here. So if I press that, it should start the sync, as you can see there. So then as I go around Apple TV, the lighting reflects what's on the screen, and I can then press that again if I want to turn it off. And you can actually program the remote to uh, change the input, change the lighting settings, or just turn it on and off. All right, so now let me answer a few questions you guys had after my last video. Number one, you can use soundbars and audio receivers with this. There's three options really, but I think the best one is to plug everything, including the soundbar, into the sync box and then output to the TV. Or you can plug your devices into the sync box, plug that into the soundbar and then output to the TV. Or finally, plug everything except the soundbar into the sync box, then separately connect your soundbar to the TV via its ARC HDMI port. Number two, and the HDMI spec is listed as 2.0B. So it can output 4K, but it's limited to 60 Hertz and only supports HDR10. So if you're watching a movie with Dolby Vision or HDR10+, the lights won't sync correctly. Although we may see an update in the future to fix this. Number three, and this was probably the most asked question, but unfortunately, no, the lights won't sync with the content that's played through the apps on your smart TV. It has to come from an external source, like a Roku, Fire TV, Nvidia Shield, Games Console, or set-top box. Number four, and the sync box uses the same power adapter as the Philips Hue Play Bar lights. So you could actually plug in two Play Bars into the sync box's power adapter so that you're only using one outlet at the wall. Okay, number five, and you can use any number of Philips Hue color lights in your entertainment area. I'd recommend at least two though, but ideally four or five to get the most immersive experience. Of course, you don't have to buy it all at once though, you can keep adding new ones over time. And finally, remember they do keep updating the software, as we've seen with the voice and IR support. So this will get better and have more features added over time. 
So is it all worth it? Well, for me, I think it is. I probably wouldn't use it when just watching TV, but if I'm settling down to watch a movie or firing up the Xbox or PlayStation for a gaming session, it really does add an extra level of immersion. Although I tend to keep it on subtle or moderate intensity so it's not too distracting. So that's just a quick look at the new Philips Hue Play HDMI sync box. It's gonna be available for 239 euros. Uh, it's out now in some regions of Europe and the UK and also the US. It'll be coming to more places very soon. Uh, I'll update the description below when it's available and where you can buy it. And if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna see more from Philips Hue and me, then uh, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Jam.